Last week, Rockford City Market was canceled over the fear of protests. Demonstrators have been trying to bring attention to what they claim is police brutality. Event organizers and the city of Rockford made changes in hopes of keeping demonstrators away from patrons. The perimeter of city market's been expanded to include Waterside Park. Protesters are asked to remain in Joe Marino Park. Rockford police say demonstrators who move outside the area or try to block traffic could be arrested. Brittany Tulis is live at City Market, and as we saw in some of that video, protesters did not stay in that designated area. Brittany, what are they doing now? Eric and Mimi, the amount of protesters, as you can see, has multiplied, and they have started leaving the designated area, as you've said, and multiple people have been arrested now. The leader of the May 30th Alliance, Leslie, who organized this protest has already been taken into custody along with three other people. The third person was literally carried by police over into a squad car and the fourth person arrested was actually taken out of the designated protest area. Now I'm going to turn you guys around really quick and you're going to see the line of police officers right here. This line of police officers has made, have walked over several times to take those people into custody. They've walked over about three times. And if you look further, police have blocked off Madison Street on State. And I'm going to turn you back around down to the other side of the State Street bridge where they've blocked off Wyman and State. So traffic is no longer going through State Street. As I said, the protesters and police have clashed multiple times. You can see over to the right of Joe Marino Park is another line of police officers. It's RPD and the police are actually starting to advance right now. This is Rockford Police. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. They've started talking with the protesters. It looks like they're clashing a little bit, but this is the most calm police approach we've seen so far. This protest has, like I said, Oh, police are about to come around me now. You can see them walking past me, walking through me. And I'm being moved off the street, so we're going to move off the street and out of the officer's way right now. And it looks like this is about the fifth time police have walked up to the protesters' group. Um, this is a mix of Winnebago County Sheriff and Rockford Police, and I've actually seen a couple of Illinois State Police squad cars drive by too. So they are also in the area, and we're it's starting to get violent right now. There is a bit of a struggle. This is a fifth person police are taking into custody. This is a fifth protester. There is another one that it looks like police are fo following right now. Eric and Mimi, this is a fast developing situation. Oops, excuse me. I have to get back out of the street. Police are asking people to stay out of the street because this is where they've been clashing with protesters. And like I said, they've started to move well outside of the designated protesting area right now. State Street is closed to traffic from Madison down to Wyman, so please avoid the area. I've also heard a protester say over the loudspeaker, if you have children in the area, take those children home. So right now, this is a fast-developing situation, Eric and Mimi. I will be keeping you guys updated to anything that changes. But for now, live in Rockford for your home team, Brittany Tulis, Eyewitness News. Eric and Mimi, back to you. Brittany, thanks for the report. Be careful out there.